Welcome to a lesson on uh, the fundamental theorem of calculus. Uh, so you've already seen how to, to do the fundamental theorem of calculus. Here we're just going to look at a, uh, the example that we started with with Riemann sums. Uh, and we'll look at kind of how we can compute uh, the fundamental theorem using Excel. Uh, so the example we've been looking at uh, was if, uh, with this, the speed of the space shuttle. And again, that was measured in feet per second. And is given by this cubic polynomial here. And we're looking for the first 500 seconds uh, during its, its flight uh, path. And so the question that we've been asking, trying to figure out, is how far uh, did the space shuttle travel during those uh, 500 seconds? Uh, and so we looked at this originally using a Riemann sum. Uh, so again, if you think back to Riemann sum, the idea was we took these rectangles, uh, so we started with five rectangles, and we could deal with the left, middle, or right, remember? And so we computed the area of these five rectangles. Uh, and again, remember, these are not exact. This is not the exact area under the curve. It's just the, the area of the five rectangles. And this there's this air, the space at the top of each of the rectangles, which is not accounted for. Uh, and so we started to increase the number of rectangles to hopefully finally get it uh, uh, to get a better uh, approximation to what the actual area was going to be. Um, then we, so we set that up and we did um, sort of a limit as n goes to infinity. We did it with five rectangles and then 10, 100, 1,000, and even 10,000 rectangles. And we could sort of see eventually this was approaching uh, some number, and we just made a guess there. Um, and I, it could be, that's probably not the, the right answer, but it was a guess that we made for what the exact area would be. But we, we were starting to, to, to hone in on what the answer, actual answer would be. Uh, and we, again, we also looked at what happened if we did the left, middle, and right. And so we got three different answers. For the left, we got uh, a little over 4 million. For the midpoint, it was a little over 5 million. And for the right, it was over 6.5 million feet uh, that this would have traveled. So what we saw using Riemann sums is that we had some different answers for how far it traveled, uh, anywhere from four to six and a half million feet, um, and with the midpoint probably being the most accurate of the three. And again, that's only with five rectangles right there. Um, so how do we go about getting a more accurate, to, to in extent, what is the exact area underneath the curve that we had? And so that's where the fundamental theorem of calculus comes in. Uh, so the fundamental theorem of calculus says if we, we can evaluate the antiderivative of our function at its endpoints. And we do that using a definite integral. So in order to compute the exact area, uh, uh, or the exact area under the curve, which will give us the distance in feet of the space shuttle, we're going to use a definite integral. Uh, so that means we have an integral and we have an a and a b value. We have a starting and an, and an end point. So in this case, we're going from 0 to 500 because that's the time frame we're looking at. And when we do an integral, if possible, we're going to use the antiderivative. So we need to compute the antiderivative of this function. Computing the antiderivative follows just like our normal rules. So power rule, you add 1 and then divide. So x to the third becomes x to the fourth over 4. x squared becomes x to the third over 3. x becomes x squared over 2. And then a constant becomes a constant times an x. Uh, and so we need to take our antiderivative and we need to evaluate it uh, at the two endpoints. So in, ex in Excel, we can do that pretty easily. Uh, I usually tend to set up a table here. Uh, so I need to compute, or I need my x values, and then I need to compute what is the antiderivative. Okay? The x values that I have are 0 and 500. So those are the a and the b values. And then I need to type in my antiderivative. Okay, once we get our antiderivative typed in, we just need to drag it down so it evaluates both of our uh, x values. And then, so that is um, the antiderivative at our two endpoints. We just need to subtract it. So our FTC will be the second value minus the first value, uh, which in this case doesn't change, but it turns out to be 
uh, this value here. So it turns out that the exact area under the curve is 5,218,473 uh, and again that represents the distance traveled in feet.